It's time for Daily Dose of Classic. That's what we got going on first today. What's up, guys? S fanned. Is my is everything working? Good. Recording has started. What's up, guys? Uh, so it looks like today. Yeah, everybody say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Everybody say hi, YouTube. Very good. So it looks like today, uh, just like actually, like right before I went live, Mixu told me about this. Um, it looks like there has been some leaks about the final test date and the WoW Classic minimum system requirements. Yeah, there's been some leaks. Uh, here's the thing. Well, you know what? I'm just going to open it right up, right? I'm going to open it right up and we'll get right into it. How about that? How does that sound? Boom. Okay. So. So here it is. This is a leak, and I think this was posted on the EU forums, a blue post on the EU forums. That's what they're saying. A global final testing of the WoW Classic will begin on August 8th at 2 CES, 20 CEST. All World of Warcraft account holders with a valid subscription or paid playing time in any region will be able to participate in testing. You can develop heroes up to level 20. All. Minimum requirements, minimum PC requirements, operating system, Windows 7. Windows 7? What? I'm going to have to upgrade. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay, well, Windows 7, 64-bit, CPU, Intel Core 2 Duo, E6600 or AMD Phenom, whatever, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT. Dude, what is this like? This is like, what, your grandpa's video card. Like, when did this come out? 8800 GT, NVIDIA GE Force 8800 GT. Release date. GeForce 8 series. When did this come out? 8800 GT. October 29, 2007. During Wrath. Is that no no that's Burning Crusade? Sorry. That is that is 10 months into Burning Crusade. You want to talk about no changes? <laughs> what? Okay, well, hey, memory two gigabytes of RAM, uh place on disk five gigabytes of free hard disk space. Internet, broadband, internet connection. Input devices, keyboard and mouse, other input devices are not supported. Uh, and at least, at least a 1024 by 768 computer. So guys, don't worry. No changes. If you have a computer that's 10 years old, don't fret. It is just fine. You will be able to play Classic WoW. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, amazing, amazing. So, uh, great job. Uh... Minimum Mac requirements, uh, nobody uses these, so I, I don't know what a Mac is. Mac and cheese is the only thing I know about, so I will just skip over that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Number of cores, four. Number of streams, eight. CPU core, i7. MacBook Pro. Wait, is this... Wait, hold on. Is this way better? You need a, you need a way better Mac computer than a not Mac computer. Is that right? Wait, video card, GeForce GT 650M. What is a 650M? Release date. 2012. Yeah, 2012. Oh man, I just, I just don't make computers like they used to, man. Yeah, they just don't make computers like they used to. Uh, so yeah, no, if you have a Mac computer, you're going to be just fine. Uh, so here's the thing. Allegedly, the thread got deleted. But somebody took a screenshot of it. Let me open this up. Okay, allegedly this is what was posted, right, on the EU forums. Uh, but then it got deleted right after. Now, uh, could this be photoshopped? 
probably or possibly i mean it could possibly be photoshopped they also linked the actual thread but then they deleted the thread oh here it is yeah so they linked the thread and then they got deleted so uh, i mean I, I don't know I, basically here's here's the main point right here yeah kid comrade kid comrade here's here's the main point um Final test date in WoW Classic. Minimum system requirements. The James Bond just resubbed for five months. Five months to add less than three. Thank you, James Bond. Appreciate that. Thank you for the five months, man. Uh, this is not a big deal, okay? I mean, I, 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 I doubt very many people are going to have a big problem with not being able to play Classic, okay? Not being able to run it. Uh, but this final test date, August 8th at 20 CEST, which is what? What, what, what? what time is that for, for uh, K-Kona, uh, for NA? That would be for Central Time, I think I'm seven hours behind, right? So 13, 2? Two? 2 Eastern, so 1. Okay, so, yeah, so so 1 p.m., okay. Um, I know I'm going to play the stress test a lot, uh, I I think I think that the stress test, like I wanna I wanna hit it, like that's that's something I wanna do. Uh, all th and this is another big thing. All World of Warcraft account holders with a valid subscription or paid playing time in any region, and you can go up to level twenty. So, what does this mean? Um, this means, well, two things. One, if this is on the eighth, I would expect this to be an official announcement in the next two days, no later than Monday. I would expect this to be official, an official announcement no later than Monday, right? Like maybe they announced it today or, yeah, I would expect this by Monday. I would expect this to be an official announcement by Monday. That's what I would expect. Um, but if it's if the guy posted it today, it makes me think that he posted it today just before he was supposed to or something. Um, on accident and then they're, they're going to post it they meant to post it tomorrow or something like that that's what i'm assuming maybe but um this is going to be a really big deal and the implications of this are really really good um there could be really good right by blizzard doing an open stress test august 8th it does two things one it makes it to where they're going to be able to see okay and they, dude, I'll tell you what, they might have done this on purpose. Uh, and I say that because of some, com just, just because of conversations I've happened to have with like Blizzard employees, right? By them making the stress test August 8th open to absolutely everybody, this allows you to not only sub 20 days early or so, right? Not only does it allow you to sub 20 days early, 19 days early, and get access to the stress test, but because, uh, sorry, access to the stress test on top of launch, for Blizzard, what this does is this helps them to see, okay, because we've made it so available for people to subscribe to WoW now and be able to have their subscription bleed into launch, this could give us a strong, um, a strong measure of what we could see on launch, numbers we could see on launch. Now, surely, right? Surely there's going to be people who don't sub during the stress test and they sub before launch and all kinds of stuff, right? So this is really, really good on Blizzard's end. Them postponing the stress test, this being one of the reasons, or with this happening, right? I don't know if it was on purpose, right? But it wouldn't surprise me if it was on purpose. Would have been a very, very, very smart thing too. Number two, it's also very player friendly, right? Because now, if I'm not sub to WoW, I can sub on August 8th. I can register for my name August 13th. And I can play on launch day all under the same subscription. I could sub to WoW today, August 1st. Right? Yeah, August 1st. And in the next month of my subscription, I would have the stress test, I would have name registration, and I would have launch. That's what would happen.
pretty cool. I I think I think that is now it's like I, if I'm not sub today, do I have to sub today? No. What, what I'm saying is if this happens to be true and you want to sub on the seventh, the same thing, it's, the same thing still stands, right? Um, but but my point is is that this is actually really really good for everybody. Them postponing the stress test ended up being awesome. Uh, on top of that, I, I I would I would venture to guess that the initial reason that they might have pushed back the stress test might have been to figure out like some things that they wanted to test that they didn't have ready for sure yet, right? What is name registration? You can basically well on the thirteenth. I think on the thirteenth they're going to announce the realms. They're going to give out the realm list and. Uh, they're going to give out the realm list and you can register, I think, up to three names on uh, a, a total of three names across all servers. Right. A total of three names across all servers and uh, or 812 for USA. Yeah, that's right. It's 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 all going to be global. Everything is going to be global. So that, that's a good point, Mr. Scoot Scoot. Uh, you love me on Raj. Thanks, Disillusion. Appreciate that, dude. Yeah, I I, I dude, I, I, I love going on Raj. I might go on Raj again tomorrow. Maybe. Is it Thursday? It is. I might go on Raj again tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I love going on Raj. Right now, I'm starting off my streams doing a Daily Dose of Classic. This is something that I record for YouTube because um, I, like, I, I'm a big Classic WoW guy, right? So I wanted to take these, turn these into YouTube content as well, and kind of give everybody a taste of Classic because, look, this is this is the WoW Classic waiting room, right? And I think I think we have a responsibility to uphold. We have a responsibility to uphold as the WoW Classic waiting room and to continue to give people WoW Classic content even though we don't even have Classic, right? So... Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. BG's TV. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. And lads on tour. Thank you for the Twitch Prime two months. Appreciate that, guys. <laughs> Responsibility. What phase? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <clears throat> Sam Best Wasserman. Thanks for all this info. Yeah, of course. Thank, thanks, man. Thanks, Monique. I, I really appreciate that, man. Um, so, yeah. No, I, I think that's good. Right. Uh, second off, a lot of people are like complaining. Oh, like Blizzard hasn't been advertising. Blizzard hasn't been marketing classic. This is like, dude, Blizzard. Do you know what Blizzard is? Do you know how Blizzard really feels about this? I think Blizzard is afraid. I think Blizzard, Blizzard is like, okay, how many people are going to play classic? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, realistically, I, I think, I think it's like, dude, <laughs> we we might get blasted. We might get blasted on launch day and our servers won't even work. <laughs> That's what I think is going on. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm being a I, I'm being a little bit I'm speaking in hyperbole a little bit, right? I'm I'm speaking in hyperbole a little bit, but uh I, I think that there's a proper time and uh there, there's a timeline for these things, right? Like uh I mean look at Twitch, dude. Twitch changed the logo today. And this is something that this comes from Blizzard, right? This comes from the companies that run these games. Hey, we want you to change your logo to something else. Today, they officially changed the logo of the WoW section to World of Warcraft with a picture of Rag, the classic logo. And all is right in the world. All is right in the world. Pog you. Yes, exactly. So this is awesome. Uh, like, dude, just seeing this makes me hyped, to be completely honest. Yeah. It, you know what? I, I'm going to crack a Red Bull to that. How does that sound? I'm going to crack open a Red Bull to that. And you guys should too. There it is. So, yeah. I think this is awesome. I think this is exciting. Uh, and, and this is just like, this is just one step, right? This is, this is very subtle, right? This is just one step in the advertising of it. But, um... Here's another one. Twitter.com slash Warcraft, right? Warcraft put out a tweet today. I think August, this is going to be classic hype month, right? Um, get ready for a classic August and more. So they, they put out a little teaser for classic. Wow, classic available August 27th. Dude, Twitter videos. Okay. Uh, Twitter videos are the worst... Uh, I, I really want Twitter videos to work because I, I don't know about you guys. A good video on Twitter is nice to watch. I love watching Twitter videos and I want, I want to post more clips on Twitter, right? I started posting clips on Instagram and that was okay. 
I want to post more clips on Twitter and stuff too. Twitter.com slash SVNTV. So yeah, I want to start doing that, but why like why is it lagging and like low quality? Any, anyway, sorry, continue. Classic Twitter, no changes. So yeah, this... <laughs> they posted this. Dude, I... Blizzard's running out of ideas. <laughs> Blizzard's running out of ideas. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Free t-shirt day. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, they're running out of ideas, dude. I, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> what is free t-shirt day like aren't these like 25 silver like yeah I, I don't even know yeah well this isn't for classic this is for bfa free t-shirt day is for bfa yeah they're gonna pull out a freaking t-shirt gun and just pop them off in stormwind so yeah they did say classic and more right yeah they said they did say classic and more so uh what is yeah, so so yeah, this is um this is good. I mean, they're they're starting to advertise classic uh, a little bit more, right? A everything has a timeline. I think to act like oh they're not advertising and this and that, I, I think it's kind of silly, right? But at the same time, I do think it's a genuine. I, I think if I was Blizzard, I would have a big concern of I don't know how many people are going to try and log in on launch day, and they're going to blast the login servers, and I'm not going to be able. To, and I'm and I'm not going to be able to keep the servers up, right? If I'm Blizzard, that's that's something that I would genuinely be concerned about. Yeah. Also, how come they had to have an alliance get killed by by a hogger? Or what are those things are called? Knolls. Dude, unbelievable. Because Horde wouldn't die to Hogger? Yeah, because they don't have him. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I think, uh, uh, yeah, isn't Classic kind of a niche market? Large niche, but still niche? Uh, yes and no, right? I, I, think, I think part of it is the, the current audience of Classic WoW is kind of niche. But, dude, the game is so casual friendly. It's so good for new players. Like, I, I, I think one of the problems with BFA is and retail wow in general is and i'm not talking about cash up mechanics and gear and stuff like this i'm talking about like the playability of the game uh, I, I think it's kind of hard to get into and i think it's kind of daunting and there's not a lot of things that i can do that i feel like i'm progressing my character you know what i'm saying predict wow view count on launch day i would not be surprised I would not be surprised if you consider. I need paint because my brain doesn't work unless my paint's open. Okay. If you consider, let's let's think about this. Shroud. Summit. Summit. Tim, the tap man. Uh, Shroud, Summit, Tim. Who else? Who else is going to stream this? I mean, obviously, Asman. Obviously, Soda. Lyric. Doc is not going to do this, right? Doc, I don't think Doc is going to do it. You? I, I don't know if I'm going to play Classic, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Um... <laughs> Uh, look, uh, like I think uh, <laughs> so. So my point, no, I I don't count in this list. I don't I, I I don't, and I and I I don't think I ever will have the same kind of audience or pull that these kind of guys have, right? As far as viewership on Twitch, that's just the reality of it, you know. Um, th these guys, these guys are different, right? They are in that 10k plus, like, like massive streamer range, right? So. What I'm saying is, is, is you take guy, like these big guys like this alone. Like I think between one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, 
10 to 20k. I couldn't, I could never, I, I have had crazy streams, don't get me wrong, but I just, I, I could never expect or, 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 I don't know. I, I just do my thing, dude. I just do my thing. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, then, then you can't do anything about that, right? Do you think XUC will play? Uh, I don't know. He played some beta. X, XQC played some beta, right? Uh, but I don't know if he is going to play. I mean, he might play on launch, right? Uh, he might play on launch. Uh, is Pokemane going to play? I know she played a little bit of beta, but she didn't stick to it. My point is, is like you have essentially some of the biggest, like massive streamers, right? Some of these big, massive streamers on Twitch. And almost all of them have ties to WoW, right? Almost all of them have ties to WoW. I'm talking about, like, I, I almost don't want to count Asma and Soda because they're already in the section, right? Um, sorry. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, and, and yes, God, there's a lot of other people that are playing, like, uh, I, I, I'm just the reality of it is, like, you know, Quinn, myself... Uh, stay safe tips like I, I, oh, there's a bunch of other people see do Ven rookie all these people are gonna play right uh, but I, these are not like we're that group my like the group that I'm in I I feel like is is the other group right like I, I don't know I, I just uh, I just kind of feel that way like obviously I know a lot about classic right and I know this is the wow classic waiting room right of course but uh I don't I I, I don't think that 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 doesn't automatically constitute viewership. You know what I mean? So do I not? I think so do stream launch. I think it'll stream launch. So you're in the full-time wow group. Yeah. I'm kind of in this weird spot personally. Right. Because I'm, I've like, everybody kind of has to pick their path. Right. And I'm kind of known as like the classic wow guy. Right. But the reality of it is, is how much classic wow in the last two and a half years of streaming. Do you know how many months out of these two and a half years out of these 30 months that I've been streaming, how many of these months have I streamed Classic WoW? Who can tell me? Including YouTube. I have streamed about 9 to 10. Right? Because I streamed Classic for like 7 months before I got banned. So about 9 to 10 months. Only like I, I am like the classic wow guy, right? Like uh, I, I am a classic wow guy. People see me as, as a classic wow guy. But the reality is only like a third of the time that I've been streaming, I've been streaming classic. The other two thirds has been IRL, has been variety, right? Has been all kinds of other stuff, right? You're the classic wow guy. Well, I, I mean, I think there's a lot of people that are classic wow guys, right? Uh, and, and it's just, uh, it's kind of subjective, right? Everybody, everybody likes different people, um, right? E everybody likes to watch different people for different things, right? So like for, for some of you guys, right? I might be the classic wild guy, but for other people, I'm, I'm not, right? Hide and seek at Ikea stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun, dude. That was fun. So. How many views are now on Mixer? I don't know. Yeah, Ninja moving to Mixer. That is a, we talked about that a little bit earlier. We did, we did talk about that a little bit earlier. Uh, actually, is he live? I saw he tweeted like two more hours. No, he's not live. Actually, I was gonna, I was gonna pull a stream up for a second just to see, but uh, I think Mixer, I, you know what, dude? If anybody were to try and, um, if anybody were to try and restream Ninja, I would highly recommend against it. Because you can pro Mixer can probably DMCA you, right? They would send a DMCA, which happened to me. They would send a DMCA request to Twitch, except that happened to me with with uh, with Blizzard to YouTube. Uh, and then Twitch is legally obligated to ban you for at least 24 hours, and then you get a permanent DMCA strike on your account, which is what happened to Destiny, Trihex, and Hassan last night. So. Um, so yeah, that'll that'll uh, basically be what happens. Can you watch a mix? I mean, uh, you can technically like, technically you can get DMCA'd for other people's stuff. Like uh, like if 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 
they want to, right? Mixer could DMCA you if you were watching a Mixer stream on Twitch. But um, the reality of it is, the reality of it is, uh, is that they're probably not going to care normally unless it's somebody like Ninja. So yeah. Anyway, this is a different uh, this is a different discussion. Like we're we're, we're talking classic right now. <sighs> All things considered, I would not be surprised to see five hundred to a million views in the WoW section. I would I would not be surprised because if you look at BFA launch, BFA launch had that's a lot. I know. I think going anywhere between 500 to a million is not crazy. BFA launch did not have nearly as many streamers that are going to play it. And I think it was, I, what, what did it peak at? Does anybody remember? I, I regularly remember it being like, like high three. Is that, am I remembering this right? I love that you're using paint, not typing. Thanks, Chandizi. I My brain doesn't work if I if I'm not on paint. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my brain is slow and I have to I have to uh, give it time to think with with writing out the words. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, Method had 200k viewers on Gahoon. Yeah, I mean, like all, all things considered, I think this is a big range. This is a massive range. Okay, like uh, I, I'm. This is like literally like a magnitude of like it's like double right like it could potentially be twice as much as 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 my initial thing right but i i just it wouldn't shock me that's what i'm saying this is the range this is the number range that wouldn't shock me the numbers that would shock me would be uh less than 300k would be really surprising uh i'll say less than 250 Less than 250 would be really surprising, and over a million would be would be really surprising. That's what I think. You think it'll be anywhere between one and one million? <laughs> yeah, good. Good Star Siege. Do you ever eat it? No, I, I don't. I don't. I haven't tried, I should say. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, maybe someday. Uh, well, you have people streaming classic as well as retail in the same section. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Like, you have, you have two games in the same section. At least uh, that's the thought. Okay, that's what people think. I feel very strongly about that. I, I have a very, I, I have a very strong opinion about that. Uh, but I think, uh, I, I don't really want to go into that today, right? We might, uh, we might, we might talk about that on the next daily dose or something like that about uh, about sections and stuff like that. that's that's a lot of Twitch talk, right? Uh, that's a lot of Twitch talk about the uh, just like how streaming and and all kinds of stuff like that work. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically just how it goes. Uh, what do you think of having BGs so late? Uh, BGs, I think, probably won't be in for about six months. And it it, it might seem like a while. That's kind of how it was. And, and here's something else. I don't want to hit on too many topics today. Uh, the reason being I don't want to hit on too many topics during Daily Dose is because I I feel like I don't want the daily dose videos to go on for like two hours, right? I, I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't want to like talk about like ten different things at once. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I, I might do like I, I might do like um, Q and A or this and that. And sometimes you're just gonna run long, right? Like if I'm looking at a guide, like for example, if I'm if I'm reviewing a Wowhead guide or something, it's going to run long and that'll be like a one off thing. But you guys know me, I, I stream long hours, I ramble really really like I, I dude i ramble really really badly yeah i i ramble horribly so if if you if you freaking if you let me unhitch the trailer i'm i'm just gonna roll with it and i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna talk forever so yeah 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 wrap it up Domi. exactly like that's that's just how i am right it's okay we like your rambling thank you sith waifu thank you uh but yeah yeah being selective with topics also gives way for future videos without content uh, just covering the same topic over and over. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's actually a really good point too. Um, so that way it makes like every single thing, keep it a little bit shorter, a little more concise. Uh, a, a lot of videos on my YouTube channel you'll see are like long form of content. Drewby1 just resubbed for two months. Greetings out as fan TV, hope all is going well. Thank you. Thank you, Drewby. Thank you for the two months. Cockney Rat. 
Thank you for the Twitch Prime, Kill Paco. Thank you for the Tier 1 2 months. $3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0.3.0
I don't know how. This is what I think. I think that this is what you're going to have, right? Anything. Okay. Here, you know what? Here, here's this. This is classic. Classic. And these are the months, right? One, two, three, four, seven. Okay. So these are the months and these are the people, right? These numbers don't really matter. Uh, so I think, I think that you will have a big hype on launch. Boom. Right? You'll have a big hype on launch and you will kind of start to see numbers dwindle down and it's going to go this way and it's going to go like that, right? How long is it going to be before these numbers drop to that extent? And, and by how much? I mean, if after a month it's about like 50%, I, I don't know. I don't think that's crazy, right? Like, it seems really bad, right? Like, people might think it's, like, really bad. But uh, this this wouldn't surprise me, right? Anything. You don't... This doesn't have to be classic, right? You could replace classic with anything with big hype, okay? Anything with big hype. You're going to have the hype beast kids come in, right? People are going to play on launch. People are going to hype, 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 hype. It's going to go up a little bit, right? Because you got the hype beast. And then all of a sudden, it's going to hit a point, And you're just going to start kind of dropping off, right? These people are going to realize, you know what? Uh, classic's not for me, right? It happens with literally anything. Almost any MMO game release follows this trend. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think this is a natural thing. Like, pretty much every MMO is like this. Um... I think, I mean, if you look at the classic, look at this. Wow, classic. Frick, I'm rambling again. I should wrap it up. Hold on. Wow, classic. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wow, subscribers graph. And we should talk about more stuff tomorrow. But if you look at this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wrap it up, Domi. Okay. If you look at this. Classic just kept growing. WoW just kept growing. Burning Crusade just kept growing. Wrath, it peaked. What happened here? You know what happened here, in my opinion? Well, let me tell you what happened here first. <sighs> MMOs. MMOs were a thing, right? MMORPGs were a thing. But they weren't a mainstream thing. And as more and more people learned and found out about World of Warcraft and how this is an incredible game and you're living this 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 world and it, it kind of became like WoW kind of became like a cultural phenomenon. Like you had it in South Park, there's always references in TV shows, all this kind of stuff, right? That that helped a lot. The hype just kind of kept growing. Burning Crusade, incredible expansion. The hype kept growing. Then you got to Wrath, right? And what happened in Wrath, right? At this point, people have been playing the game for about four years. And it's like, okay. You have people still playing the game, new players. What is this game? I've been hearing about this game for years. What is this game all about? You have a lot of new players coming in. But in Wrath, you know what you started to see? In Wrath, you started to see... Let's do this. In Wrath of the Lich King, you started to see some of these guys drop off a lot of these original wow players because I, and and i was one of them right wrath was kind of like the beginning of the end right there was a lot of new things added into wrath uh that i thought were not very good right i thought there was things that uh kind of like the the gatekeeping mentality that kind of took over the game in wrath uh was really really bad and i'm talking about like check your achievements check your gear score all that stuff right that was bad Right. That was that was rage. Right. So because I quit here and then I came back, I actually came back here, I think. No, 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 no. I think I quit. I quit here, like right after launch. And then I came back here. Uh, no, 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 no. 2010. Mm, no, yeah, I was right the first time because I, I started playing again like April or something. I don't, I don't remember the exact month. But yeah. 
anyway, my point is, is that whenever I came back, I, I was like so gatekeep, keep, gatekeep it out. I don't know. They kept like, I, I felt like I was being, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know what, what, how, gate kept anyway. Uh, because whenever I quit one, I came back and, and most of the friends that I had, some of most of the friends that I have were gone, right? The people that I played with in burning crusade, the people that I played with in vanilla, um, like I've, I've talked to you guys about these guys before, right? Like, I mean, Xivia is going to be a, an officer in my guild in classic, right? Um, but basically a lot of these guys were gone and I, I, I didn't have anybody to turn to. I didn't have anybody to play with. I didn't have any friends. Right. And whenever I tried to make new friends, it was all like, what's your gear score? What's your achievements? Do you, have you done this? Have you not done this? And I couldn't get into anything and it made me quit. Right. And, and that's just the reality of it. Um, so you had a lot of the original players quit. You were churning the bottom of the barrel. These players quit. New players come in. And you have a net gain. Right? A net gain. But then you start to see this. Right? Uh, this is whenever the game completely changed. Right here. Um, Cataclysm. So this is, to me, Cataclysm was like the hard line of when the game changed. And then Wrath was like, the beginning of the end for me. I know that sounds grim, right? Whenever I say the beginning of the end, but uh, that's how I think a lot of people feel. A lot of the same people who want this, right? Who uh, who haven't been playing WoW, right? There's also a lot of people. There's also a lot of people that want this and want this who started playing here. Everybody talks about how amazing vanilla and Burning Crusade and all this stuff was. I've never gotten to play it. That's what a lot of these guys say. A lot of the people I played with on private servers never had played vanilla before, and they were absolutely addicted. Like, there were hardcore raiders in Wrath. There were hardcore raiders in Cataclysm, maybe into Mists, right? And then they started playing private servers because they were kind of tired of the game here, and they were like, dude, this game's incredible. Like, our, our main tank in Raid 3 was a, was a Wrath baby. So... I, I think that this game is going to be good for a lot of people. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy vanilla who didn't get a chance to enjoy it in the past. I think there's a lot of people who they've forgotten, right? You've seen it with Preach. You've seen it with Van Ruki, You've seen it with a number of guys. Look at all the arena guys who fell in love with the, the classic beta, right? Without arena. These guys are arena streamers, right? They're just, they're like, they're like robots designed to PVP, right? But like, that's, that's what they are, right? But, um, but they still ended up loving classic. And I think that was a surprise to everybody. Your mom is a wrath baby. No, actually Asmund's no Asmund's mom started playing in vanilla. That's how it is. Homie's sister sub for 11 months. I'd cry. This is popping up weeks after sub. But when you're on Twitch, rip YouTube. Rip YouTube. Will be classic launch a baby. That's right, dude. That's right. Thanks, home. Bushy thanks for the 11 months. for two months. Let's Bushy, see thanks some for the two smiles months. in the chat. Smile. Smile. Gmart, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Easy. Easy skanking. Thank you for the tier one. Tomcat, $3. Don't click this. It's an ad. Tomcat donated $3. Don't click this. It's an ad. Patty, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Fatality. Thanks for the Switch Prime. Big Tomcat tourist updates for Warcraft add-ons. Nice. Hashtag ad. Very good. So anyway. Joshy J, eight months. Thank you, Joshy. Any tips on converting my little Fortnite brother to playing classic WoW? I really want him to get off this crooked path. Um... Hmm. Any way to get a Fortnite player to start playing classic WoW? Uh, tell him Tim the Tatman plays classic. There you go. Uh, why is your beard already so beardy? Why are you so hairy? Mine is half that size. You're not going to have a lower face by classic launch. Guys, I've been doing... I, I shaved for the classic... At the end of the beta, they wipe the servers. I wipe the slate clean, right? Wipe the servers, wipe my face. You wipe in game, you wipe in real life. Complete and total character immersion. Okay, that's what this game is all about. You want to compete at the highest level, that's what you got to do. Right? That's just what it takes. So we're doing no shave till classic. And then whenever classic comes. 
the stash might be coming back. S. Van, are you God? Serious question. No. Um, yeah. <clears throat> did, 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 did. Have you seen the series called The Boys? Uh, the Boys. I've not. I've not. Walking Tin, thank you for the five gifted subs. Solacer, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you guys so much for that. And you know what else? Thank you guys so much for joining me for a daily dose of classic. Again, I'm going to keep doing these every day. I start my streams at about 3 o'clock. I post these on YouTube. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you like the video, if you subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a comment and let me know about things you want me to cover, something like that, uh, or anything like that, rather. And the, the format of this is really like a discussion style of thing, right? Obviously, I'm streaming. So uh, there's a lot of back and forth on, uh, there's a lot of back and forth on Twitch and um, the chat and whatnot. I, I just realized I didn't have the chat open for this recording. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But um, yeah, it's unfortunate. I, I got to make sure to do that next time. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like, follow me on Twitch, SFANTV, Twitter, SFANTV, everything SFANTV. Guys, thank you so much. Everybody say bye, YouTube. Everybody say bye, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Probably tomorrow. The semi-daily dose of classic. I don't know. We'll see.